Hi, I'm Lauren with New Media Rights, and you're watching Lag. Today we're talking with Naomi Alderman. She is a game writer, has written several critically acclaimed novels, is currently one of which was published in over 10 languages, um, and she is currently working on the Zombies Run app, and she's also worked on ARG games such as Perplex City, among many other projects. So thanks for talking with us today. It's great to talk to you. Um, so you've worked on some projects with Penguin and the BBC. Can you just give us a brief synopsis of what you did with them? So um, I was involved in a project with the with Penguin called We Tell Stories, which was um, seven different stories being told in different ways over the internet. So it was really a sort of um, experiment in how you would tell stories online. Uh, and then with the BBC last year, I made... Uh, game to teach people Italian, which was really good fun. We had an interactive Italian drama where, it's, you know, you would be watching the story and at certain points the characters would turn to you and say, what shall I say now? <laughs> or something like that. Or we need to look for a clue in our treasure hunt. Go and distract that pasta seller by buying some pasta. <laughs> so it was, it was really good fun and it's been it's part of a series, one of which won a BAFTA, which was great. And... Um, I love doing these things where you can feel like there's actually some, some good use to it, too. Do you speak Italian? Uh, un po'. Solo un po'. <laughs> right. Although, I was, watching, I was watching The Godfather today for the very first time, and I, was, I had sufficient Italian to be able to understand what they were saying in Italian. <laughs> All right, I've taken about a two-week course in Italian, and when I went to Italy, realized that Italians do not speak Spanish. <laughs> no matter how much you want them to, they do not. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Um, so Perplex City was funded, or I mean it was a, a mind candy uh, program, or it was a game for mind candy, and now you've been working with the zombie app as a Kickstarter. Have you noticed any kind of a difference between working for like a corporate sponsored game versus um, a Kickstarter? As per like the pressure for writing or appeasing your fans, that sort of thing? So, um... I mean, Mind Candy wasn't really a corporate sponsor. It was a game that, that they were making. You know, it was um, so it wasn't like a promotional thing for them. That was actually a product that they were selling and, and um, uh, you know, hoping to generate income from. Sadly, they went on to make this Moshi Monster, which was far more successful financially than Perfect City ever was. Uh, but in terms of, you know, certainly um, at Mind Candy, we were working with investors and uh, not that I ever spoke to these investors, but there were investors floating around there somewhere, and um, they had their views on what kind of profit we should be making and how we should be coming up with that profit. Um, and Kickstarter backers, to me, are preferable. There is a, there is a fan demand, and you have to meet the, um, the, 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 the expectations of your fans, or at least try to meet their expectations. But I instantly prefer having to meet the expectations of your customers who, who have the same desire as you, which is for you to make a really excellent thing, um, to having to meet the demands of venture capitalists who really just want as fast a return on their money as they can. And, and some projects really are never going to do that. And some projects won't do that fast enough. And some projects um, you know, might not do that in the, the way that they're expected. And your fans are never going to meddle in the way that investors might meddle. Your fans will hold you to account, and certainly we've had some tough times with, with some things where we have had to let people down on something that we promised that we could do for them, and it feels dreadful, and I, I would much rather that we hadn't had to do that. But at the same time, at least I understand that demand, and I can I can get behind it and sympathize rather than somebody coming in and going, well, maybe we just did it this way, that would, and, and then you just kind of have to sort of hop to it. Um, yeah, people with a bunch of money create interesting pressures on creative people. 